Hey, what's going on guys? Ravi here from Mira FX along with Mr. Zebo. Welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. So, in this video, we'll be learning to convert a stable tripod shot to have some handheld camera moment in a very easy way. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so I have a video in my project. Let me drag this to the right side panel here so that a sequence is created. So I have a video here of a man working on his laptop. And if you can notice, um, this video is a stable tripod shot. So there's no camera movement involved in this. So now in order to add some camera movement to this video, all you have to do is you have to you know have a video in your project you know that has some handheld camera movement just like the way you see in the video to the left so you can see that there's a camera movement involved in this video so now what you'll have to do is simply move this handheld chart onto the top of our video just like this so now we'll be applying this handheld camera information to uh, you know to the shot that is below in order to do that, I'll select both the videos here and right click and click on this nest. I'll name this to um, handheld, hit OK. So now simply go to the FX panel and type in warp and you have this warp stabilizer effect in the distort folder and drag this onto your video just like this. So now before uh, Premiere Pro starts analyzing the video, let me just cancel this. And I'll change the result to no motion and then and I'll then change the method to position scale and rotation since we don't want any warping or uh, any stabilization effect involved and I'll simply hit analyze Premiere Pro starts analyzing the scene so once that is done you can see that Pro done some uh, you know adjustments to the you know using the warp stabilizer effect to the video on the top and we'll be applying this effect onto the second video so what i'll do is i'll simply open the nested sequence and I'll remove the topmost video here and now what happens is that the information that Premiere Pro has collected from the topmost video is applied to this bottommost layer here. So if I go to my video, my eye sequence, and if I start playing the video, that particular, uh, you know, camera movement is applied to our video in the bottom. So you can see that a smooth handheld movement is applied to the video. So this is a technique wherein you can generate some handheld camera movement in Adobe Premiere Pro using a very simple way. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright so see you guys next time.